Uh, this is Michael Altabrando from the IRS. Michael Altabrando? Right. Um, are you Mark Stevens? I am. You called yesterday about your client, Eric. I did. Okay, this is about um, income, uh, wages uh, that were reported on Schedule C. And we disallowed that because our records show that these are wages. They're not non-employee compensation. Is there a reason why they were reported on Schedule C? Uh, I don't know if I can get into that. I believe that the, the return was filed for the same reason all of us do, was that on the threat, duress, and coercion to avoid going to jail. And we don't believe that, uh, that there's any evidence, unless you can provide any evidence to show that the Constitution and code actually apply and that there's any jurisdiction Okay, can you send something in writing? Because we need something in writing uh, in order to make any adjustments. So we need, you know, a response in writing. We cannot, you know, do this orally. Yeah, well, we, we got instructions and, and uh, a fax number uh, from a, a Miss Sanchez yesterday about doing just that. She already told us that everything was going to, you know, should have been reversed or should be reversed. And we're going to be following up in writing. Okay. So uh, do you need any other information from me? Well, well since I have you on the line, I mean, it, you know, it's it just there's an assumption that if, if, if we live in a certain part of the world, like in North America, if, like say I'm in Phoenix, there's just an assumption that if I trade with people and make a certain amount of money, that, that uh, I automatically uh, must file a return and, and, and pay you guys on that. And so the question would have is what evidence would there be to show that the Constitution and Code apply to me at all and that there's any jurisdiction to require me to file a return or pay taxes? And what do you, what do you want me to do? I would like you to be able to tell me what evidence you would use to show that the Constitution I, and Code I have no, I just apply. follow just like, you know, just like, I'm a taxpayer as, as well as you. Oh, no. And actually, no. There's no evidence that I'm a taxpayer. My name is Mark. I don't go by... <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, so I'm that's not, why I'm, I'm asking. Not, I mean, what I'm evidence not. would you use since you probably accuse people every day of, of having... I'm not a, accusing anyone. I'm not accusing anyone. Uh, if you have any, um, you know, anything to say, uh, please... Place it in writing and send it to us, okay? Okay, but when you determine that somebody, if when you determine that you have jurisdiction over somebody, that the Constitution and U.S. Code apply to it's them? It's not me. I don't have any jurisdiction. I, it's not me. It's, you know, it's this, is, this is the law. This is the, uh, the law. country. You know, this is, live in a country, and we follow the laws. Okay, but what evidence well, would you have that those laws actually apply to someone like me or, or to, uh, to Mr. Shute? I cannot. I, I'm sorry. I'll, I can't. I just have to, you know, uh, go. I can't. Just That's, go it's, it's that tough of a question that you have to just go? I, okay. Uh,